Hello and welcome back to Dollar or Less Food. I've been gone for a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm trying to make a new video schedule system. This will definitely not be as long between. I'm trying to have it in about two days between videos. But I really had nothing interesting that I really wanted to eat or saw that I really needed to eat. So I didn't really feel like recording and making the video because I thought it would be boring. So, getting that getting out of the way today. We are eating some Michaelinas Wheels and Cheese. Like the other Michaelinas, it's 88 cents at your local Walmart. So, go out and get it. Mine did some re, um, uh, reordering of some of their frozen foods. So I'm a little, I'm a little upset because one of my favorite personal dishes, which I haven't done on this channel yet, by the way, they no longer have. I will tell you it is a banquet product and it costs 94 cents traditionally. So those of you who are those banquet heads per se, the sticker head of banquet frozen meals, there's got to be one of you out there, let's be honest. Now if you, you know which of the dishes I'm talking about and uh, let's just leave it at that. Let's not let's keep some anonymity for future videos if I can find them at a different store. But let's see how this one tastes. It's hot as crap so I'm letting it cool down a little. Wow. <laughs> That's another React channel trying to react to something. Although realistically, let's be honest here. I have had this before, so I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's a brand new flavor. So I've had this a couple times before. One thing I will say though is, even though it's a different shaped noodle, unlike a lot of things we have, I think it's just a different cheese blend or something. The way it reacts to the wagon wheels. It's different than the standard Michelini's mac and cheese. I don't know why, it's just something about it. You can just swoop your fork this way and get food still. You can just see that smoke rising. Yeah. And there's enough cheese in this one. Sometimes you don't get enough cheese. This one they make sure you get enough cheese every time it seems. And just you probably get less actual weight by ounce. I think eight to eight and a half ounces. When you get the wagon wheels because there's open holes in it, but actually I think you get the same amount because they really fill this and realistically there's not much gap in these noodles. Well, wrong. There's not really that much gapping in the wagon wheels. Unlike bigger pastas, they're so kind of condensed noodles. So overall. It tastes really good. I like the cheese blend. The noodles, that on top, you just suck all the sauce off. Any noodles? They do taste a little bit bland and dry and unseasoned. But they're meant to just be eaten with the dousing of the cheese. The cheese sauce itself is just primo. So it's a little strong. It's like a bit of a storm shark cheddar. You actually want an actual food review part of it, not just this is good and why, but it's a nice sharp cheddar feel to it, which is does something just to walk it and locks in that flavor. Also, the heat. This one's really hot, so make sure you let it cool off a little bit. But other than that, I mean, there's not a lot I can really say about it. It's mac and cheese. Apparently, there's protein in it. So. We need protein. Boom, eight grams. <sighs> okay, I can't do that anymore. Sorry. I'm trying to do something a little funny. So I just had a brain freeze for a second. But, okay. It's been a really short video. So I just want to show you guys something really fast. Let's just finish this up really fast if you just do not care. End the video in 10 seconds. I give this product an 8 out of 10. It is amazing overall. Uh, it's really good, really good, really good. Careful the noodle by itself. I want to make sure you have the cheese. Cheese is nice and strong. Make sure you have a drink with it because it makes you a little bit thirsty. I like all the other pasta dishes I do, but overall it's one of the best ones I've had. Especially for the 80 cent value again, Walmart. Yoo! Alrighty. Now let's walk. Avoid the mess in the kitchen. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I am... 
baking. Looks like the cookies are done. We'll let it have a minute and a half. Eh, no, who cares? Let's do it. I know this has nothing to do with my video, but at this point, cancel. Oven. Cookies. I tried to use the, like, the make your own dough cookie ones. And, uh, I don't think everything went to plan. But let's just touch. Yeah, they're soft as stuff, but they will definitely look cooked. So I'm going to let them time to sit. Also, this is another question I have. I have some nice hog meat in the freezer. If you want me to do a video on some just wild hog meat that I got, which cost me nothing, realistically, other than just my time, do let me know in the comments below. Because I got some different sauce, so some different meat, some seasoned meat on it. Most of it's sausages, plus a lot of the ribs and other stuff I ate. So, so yeah, this is a dollar or less food. If this is exciting you at all, please let me know. If you're a new person, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know this mustache is just awful. I'm getting rid of it ASAP. But uh, I'm trying to think what else to really say. I've been gone for a while. Don't worry, it won't be like this continuously. The Fig Newton video is coming. I just had some issues with other stuff. It's called don't. It's called not having milk. When you can't buy milk, you're kind of focused on, I want to be able to buy some milk. And then I got into a wild tangent, and then I bought some butter. So, I think I might be making another bakery-style video, too. So let me know what you think. I have, all, I have eggs, I have milk. I can... Find other stuff my roommate has. We can make anything. The recipes are endless at this point. All right, guys. And then also, if you're an absolute major corporate sponsor and you're still watching this video, uh, everyone else you can click off now. I'm just letting you know this is for the personal mega millions people. Hey, this is dollar or less food. If you give me legitimately five dollars, I will make a review on your food. Not like anything like cash, PayPal. Send me to my email, one dollar or less food at gmail.com. That's the number one, not the word one. And I'll write a scathing good review about your food, even if it's absolute ass. One dollar or less food. Five dollars US currency. Don't be pulling some Malaysian money on me. I know your tricks. You corporate trickeries. Anyway, bye!